What is up guys, it's ATXL, and today I'm coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be going over the my personal favorite classic weapon in the game. I think it competes better than most, like um, normal assault rifles, and of course the M1 Grand. See the class setup right there. This class setup dominates on hard, hardcore, but also dominates in core. Any game mode you want to play, this pretty much beats it out. I've heard a lot of people say negative things about this weapon. Um... But, I mean, it's an old remastered weapon. I think this is a, um, it, it, to say the least, it very well competes against, uh, other assault rifles and guns in the game. And, uh, yeah, it's also, and unfortunately, in Infinite Warfare, there is no semi-automatic, um, assault rifle. And, um, I think it's the first Call of Duty in years to actually do that. So, um, this is the only assault rifle. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's a, um... It's, you know, a cla you need a classic unlock token, so I mean, it's not a, like, normal, already unlocked assault rifle, if you get what I mean. So, um, yeah, anyway, this is a really good gun. Uh, I got a couple gameplays with it. We're going to be commentating over it. Um, definitely worthy of unlocking it, um, if you haven't already. Uh, it's a really good gun. And, um, yeah, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, leave a like. There'll definitely be more Infinite Warfare videos in the future. And, uh, yeah, and... It really helps out, so, uh, thanks. Peace out, guys. Alright, man, so we're back on Genesis on some Team Deathmatch. Not hardcore, but, uh, just core. We're using the M1 with Suppressor, which really, really helps a lot. I love this class up. It doesn't really take, uh, power away at all, because if you didn't know, an Infinite Warfare Suppressor basically takes away nothing from the Ranger damage, unlike in previous Call of Duties, uh, Suppressor basically, like, fucks with the damage range, the damage, everything, but... And this gun, it takes away, like, one range, and that's it. Like, it's really good. Doesn't, doesn't harm it. Especially with this gun, it's already, like, um... Stronger than any of the other guns that you're gonna be competing with, especially at long range, so... You still don't really have to worry about that. Alright, so they seem to be traveling in packs of, like, three and four shit... Um, so yeah, it's really annoying. They seem to be traveling in packs 3 and 4 and just going long range and trying to do the same thing I'm doing, which is basically trying to snipe them out. Alright. Where are they? Fuck, dude, I hate when you pull out your specialist and you don't even get to get a kill with it or anything, and it just goes away. I don't have overclock on this class, I don't think, so... That sucks. Maybe I do have overclock, I'm not sure. I don't think so. God damn it. I should have looked behind my back. That's when a vulture come in handy. Be for real. Shit, what was that? I freaking hate that thing. Also, if you didn't know, the M1 Garand, since it takes the form of the classic style, it cannot reload in the middle of the clip, so you have to basically shoot all 8 or 11, whether you have extended mags, um, for you to reload. And uh, the reason I don't have extended mags on, and I don't usually use it on the M1, is because if you're using this class up like it, um, I get an average of 2 kills every 8 bullets. And like, if there's one bullet left, you can just pop it off and it's really not that big a deal. And plus, we got dexterity, so once we're actually out, it reloads it rather fast, so... There's really no need for extended mags, and yeah, it is a little annoying. But, it kind of is nice that it takes the form of the original version of the M1 Garand. And, yeah, you can't reload until you extinguish the entire clip, so... The fuck is that? 
Lucky leave the game. Alright, this game's about over. Can't believe we lost. Whatever, man. We'll hop back in another one. Still finish that game. 40 kills, 5 deaths. Something good like that, so whatever. Alright. We're back on this map. I'm not sure what it's called. I don't really like this map, but... We're in Team Deathmatch again. God damn it. He's already across the map over here. Whoa. I thought that was an enemy. Yeah, this gun is really good. Trying to get gold cam on it so I can get diamond. Like I just imagine how sick diamond and um, dark sky would look on this this weapon, or even gold for that matter. I really want to unlock some camos with this weapon. Well, I thought you could go through there. Oh, really yeah, like this would be cool. Aw oh, man, he's not falling for any of our tricks. He knows what's up, he's not falling for any of that shenanigans. We can't phase shift him, he's too smart. Where is he? Whoa, what are you doing? God damn it. Dude, what? I swear to god, every time I'm just injuring one of their teammates, I swear the whole entire fucking team just spawns on your back. It's annoying as shit. Like, have you ever... Have you ever saw a spider in your garage and hit it with a broom, and the babies fall off at the back and run around? Like, that's what I feel like. You hit one of their teammates, and like, they all just fucking spawn out of nowhere. It's annoying as shit. But whatever. God, dude, what the fuck is up with my accuracy today? It's probably because I don't have my my control freaks on. Like, I don't have a scuff controller, I just have a normal PSP, PS4 controller, excuse me. Or, uh, sometimes I use my 360 controller on my PS4, but whenever I use it, I just have my control freaks on, and it works as good as, um, if you had a scuff, in my opinion, because I've played with the scuff before. really don't think it's worth the, like, $200 or whatever. It costs just for a controller. That seems kind of crazy, but you can get a pair of control freaks for like 20 bucks or less than that, and it it works just as well. Like it improves your accuracy by so much. So if you don't have a pair of control freaks, um, head over to controlfreak.com. Um, you can use code ATX Dylan to get zero percent off, and I suggest you you get you get yourself a pair. Probably improve your KD ratio by at least 50%. Dude, what is up with. Like, I don't even think it's my accuracy anymore. Like, it just seems like the bullets are hitting, but it's not doing any damage. It's like the whole entire team has on kinetic armor, but they don't have on kinetic armor. Shit. We're losing now, too. I was, a I was about to be like, dude, if I fucking die from a sniper, get quick scopes.
Fuck. Enemy UAV in your vicinity. Dude, I swear, what's up with the NV4? It's like the faggot gun, like the VMP from Black Ops 3. Like all the scrubs would use it, and it wasn't hard to use it, and you unlocked it really easily. Alright, we snuck around him with the face shift, that was pretty cool. If I managed to take down more than one. I don't think you can shoot while you're face shifting. I haven't tried it though, I just imagine you can't. Enemy UAV in your vicinity. Yeah, I bet you can't. It'd be too overpowered if you can like fly around without people seeing you and just shoot. It'd be like active camo, but active camo if you shoot, the active camo comes off. I mean, face shift does like it, it replenishes itself really fast. You can probably get it like five times in one game, at least. So I guess that's pretty cool. Wow, okay. Alright man, well that's about the end of the video, thanks for watching, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, there definitely won't be more of these in the future, feel free to leave a comment down below uh, suggesting a class it up, I might try it out, um, other than that, have a fantastic day, and peace.